Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm out hitting the river in the search of perch and hopefully I'm going to be able to find some today. It's my first time properly uh, using soft plastics in a little while because I've been using lots of crankbaits during the warmer weather. Now it's getting cold though, we're in October. As you can tell it's raining, it's cold today, it's only getting to about 11 or 12 degrees where I live today. So soft plastics for the perch, fingers crossed we can get some big ones. And if I haven't already put it in the title, um, I'll be using my first ever BFS setup today, which stands for bait finesse fishing. It's essentially a bait casting setup, uh, which you can use your very small baits with, like two gram, five gram sort of things that you won't normally be able to cast on a standard bait casting setup. So I'll go through the rod and reel that I'm using today. The reel, I actually bought these as a combo. Um, it is a dark wolf BFS reel, and then I'm fishing a two to 10 gram LMAB La Mosquite rod, which is a, a light bait casting rod. Got these from a website called My Fishing Laws. I'll whack that down in the description below. I'm not sponsored or anything, but that's where the combo is. You can buy it on there. And it even came with its own uh, fluorocarbon, or you can choose braid on the website. I went for fluorocarbon today. So yes, I'll crack on with the fishing now. I'll not bore you anymore. Uh, and we'll see what we can catch. Also on that website that I mentioned just now, if any of you guys are interested in um, Mollick's baits, I mean, I don't really use them, but they've got a sale on there. I think they might be selling them off. Um, so let's get cracked on with the fishing, see if we can catch anything else. I've caught plenty of fish. I already know it's going to be quite an enjoyable video. So I hope you guys enjoy. Do you like to see how good it, I am at skimming these baits after using the uh, BFS for five minutes? Look at that crap. Got a bird desk. <laughs> okay, cocky. <laughs> yeah. See that? Told you. I weren't lying. Oops. Weed them along. <sighs> Whoa, did you see that perch? I think it was a perch. There we go, we're in. Oh no, it's a pike. Oh, it's a good sized pike too. I didn't want it, this was one of my big perch spots. <laughs> Damn it. I don't know whether that come up and blow up on the surface, I don't think so, because that's a big pike. For the BFS anyway, I don't think I'll be able to land it in this net. Fishing just a really small, just a couple inch bait. It's a really heavy flow. Damn it, it's just hooked on the front of his lip. Yeah, it's a decent perch down there, which is what I was after. I've just seen it get spooked. Right, we've got some all on this pike here now. Some real strong flow. Come on, Chris, you can do it. Can't get it in the net, but <laughs> I should be able to chip him. Oh, come on. I'm up such a good fight. Come on. Just looked on the front of his nose. Look at this there. He's not as big as I thought he was. There we go. Beautiful fish though, and there's that bait around the front of his mouth. Oh, he's, he's barely even up. Oh, it just fell out. Look, look at that. That worked out for me, didn't it? Yeah, that fish is probably about six or seven pound. Just check his mouth for hook, like he always do. Nope, looks like there might be a fish down there or something though. Beautiful fish. We're not going to set the big camera up or anything, just because we didn't really <laughs> want to catch this one. I'm hoping 
decent perch, but an awesome fish on the setup. Plus, I can't really set the camera up here anyway. Let's let this one go. There we go. Not what I was after, but I'll take it. There we go, there we go. I'll flip this one because there's a big one in the swim. Oh, that's a bit big to flip. Chris, what are you playing at, son? If Picasso, an even bigger perch was chasing. Oh my God, how did he eat that? Couldn't not catch that one. Where did, where'd the bait go? It's a weedless rig soft plastic bait and he's just disappeared down his gullet. Yeah, there was a bigger one, so I got excited. Flip this one quickly. Well, I think they got spooked off anyway. Let's try and get him one up. There we go, got it out. He was hooked just in the rake here, but I couldn't see. See a little bit of blood there. I'm afraid I can't give him a very dignified release because I'm so high up, but I'll just... There we go, he's in a slack water down there in the edge. He should be all right. Quite a quick un unhooking. I had to completely demolish my soft plastic bait. It's in pieces because I was wanting to get that fish unhooked as quickly as possible. So I ripped the bait apart so I could see the hook. It was just hooked through one of the gill rakers. Um, so yeah, as soon as I did that, popped it out. And he's down there in the air resting now. In fact, I think I saw him swim off upstream. All right, time to rig on another one of these baits. He's been working really well, actually. There's a nice perch. I mean, it backlashed. Damn it. Got another one of the smaller ones. Can you flip straight in? Hopefully, this one's better hooked. Just big enough to flip. It's a big one set right at my feet. So, I'm going to have to keep you on land just for one second, buddy. I'll see you in a minute, just on the, the grass there. I think it's some off. There's one similar size down this edge now. There's a big one. Some decent fish. There we go, there's another perch. Oh, that's a good size one. Let's flip this one up. Just be able to flip it. Oh, good fish. That isn't even one of the big ones. No, I asked had these two lovely fish back to back casts. I just had them resting in some water in the edge. Obviously I got my waders on so I was able to jump in and just let these fish rest. Um, frustratingly there was a fish that easily looked about two and a half pound down there. Um, I didn't manage to get him to take the bait but we're going to go back to that spot after I showed you these fish see if we can get him. Not complete beast but beautiful fish and really good fun on the BFS setup. <laughs> really was, just like little soft plastic baits. Beautiful colours of those fins, aren't they? Awesome fish. Let's get them back. Bit of a slack down this margin. There's a little pit and a bit of crap cast on it. Oh, a little jackery. Pike are too easy, aren't they? Come here, little guy. Beautiful little pike. <laughs> Clip them straight back. There you go, wear me. There we go, there we go. Oh, it's a chub. 
Whoa. Whoa. Let's get it, let's get it. Oh, it's a good sized job on the BFS. He slammed it. All the bait fish just parted in the water as that fish took the bait. Come on. Oh, bending the rod double. Come on. He's a good fish too. Here we have it, what a beautiful fish on the BFS setup on a little weedless rig soft plastic bait. I cast it out, I had a fish take it straight away, a chub. Don't know if it was the same fish, um, but it was so fast I don't think I got the hook up and it came back, absolutely slammed it. You can see all the bait fish part as this fish pounded through and took that bait off the bottom. That's awesome. Probably a fish of about three and a half to four pounds, something like that. Beauty, let's get it back. There we go, there we go. Nice perch. It's on a little fillet crow. We're missing claw. Beautiful fish. So feisty. Look at the colours on that. I don't think I've ever seen a perch with more vibrant colours than this one. Really big dorsal fin. That is going to be a really, really nice fish in a few years' time when it gets bigger. Look at that. Go there, bud. There we go, there we go. Oh, the perch always feels so big in the flow. Especially since there's a bit of extra water in there. Loads of fun on this uh, BFS setup. I have to say, I do prefer it to a fixed pool. Oh, got the hook cut in the net. There we go, another beautiful perch. Whoa! Nice perch crushed it. Right on the edge. Not me go GoPro everywhere, but that is a cracking fish. I was actually cast into a chub that I saw in the margin. And as I was bringing it through, that unit of a perch, look at the length of it, really long fish. Probably about a 37 or something, or 38. Maybe a bit bigger, it's just skinny. It's deceiving, you don't think it's very big, but it's got such a length to it. It's on the uh, felic craw. Look at that fish, it's absolute beauty, isn't it? Look at the colours of those fins. Let him go. There's a bigger perch out there than that one I just caught. And it was a nice fish, but I'd rather get one of the big ones. There we go, there we go, biggest one, biggest one on the BFS. Look at the size of that fish. Absolute beauty. Glad I'm wearing the way it is. Don't think I brought my scales. <laughs> but that is a two and a half pounder all day. Just get him unhooked. There's the bait, look. It's a fillet craw. It was not coming off. There we go. It's a 
beautiful perch, usually over 40 centimetres, probably a 41 or a 42. Look at the size of it. Best get a picture with that, <laughs> then I'll let him go. So thank you guys for watching, that was a beautiful fish to end the session on, um, the rain's really picked up now, it is hammering it down, so I'm going to call it quits, I've had such an enjoyable session using the BFS setup, um, yep, over the moon, and that's actually my biggest perch of the year so far, I didn't weigh it but it's probably around about uh, two and a half pounds, something like that, really really nice fish. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you want to, like the video if you liked it, leave a comment down below if you want to let me know uh, what you'd like to see in the future, if you want to see more of this BFS style fishing or big perch fishing in general, and I'll catch you guys later.